We begin along the coast of British Columbia. Residents there are dealing with an unsightly and smelly shipment today. We are talking about a garbage barge that's packing 1,500 tons of trash. It has spent years festering on a dock in the Philippines amid a dispute over its handling. And now it has arrived home to finally be dealt with. Our Tina Lovegreen explains what is going to be done with all of this trash. Well, right now, crews are unloading the 69 containers filled with garbage. And once they're done that, the containers will stay here overnight. And then tomorrow, trucks will come and take the containers to a waste facility in Burnaby. That's about 30 minutes from here. And then they will be incinerated. Now, some of the garbage could possibly be recycled. But because there is fear of contamination, they're going to burn it all. And as, I mean, as you can imagine, that garbage has been sitting at the port in the Philippines for six years. And this whole thing thing has cost the federal government over a million dollars in just the shipping cost to get the garbage from the Philippines to here. It's an additional $375,000 to actually dispose of it. And while we've been here today, there have been several people who've come up um, interested to see what's happening, to take a look at the vessel behind me here and take pictures. And I spoke to one gentleman about what he makes of this all. It's our responsibility, you know, it's it. This is where it came from. This is where it should return. I don't have a problem with that. And Canada is now dealing with it, um, but we don't know, you know, if it will take two days to dispose of the garbage or whether it will take 10 days. Crews will have to open up the containers to see what exactly they're dealing with and see how long it takes to dispose of it properly. Now, does the issue end then once this trash is incinerated? Not at all, uh, Michael. You know, this has actually brought a lot of attention to this practice of nations like Canada dumping garbage into countries like the Philippines. And we actually heard from the Philippines who said they might outright ban plastics from foreign countries to be imported into their uh, nation. And in the last few weeks, we also heard from Malaysia and Indonesia, Indonesia who expressed their desire to return shipments of trash back to Canada.